G'day everyone, Panda Explores here, and we've got a quite a biggie today. We are in the Brad Mill, which is in Yarraville, Victoria. It's going to be changed very soon, it's um, going to be due up for development, but it was an old denim factory, and it only recently shut down, well, when I say recently, about a decade ago now. And all that's left is the historic part of it, and this is it. So let's keep having a look around and see what we can find. This is unreal. This is the main building. Not exactly sure what it's for. Oh, that's impressive. Look at that. Far out. This thing is way bigger than I thought it was. So big. If you want to get some good pictures, this is this is where you want to. This is where it's at. My God. Very glad we've come here. I have no idea what that is. It's so weird. Luckily it's all solid steel. I'm gonna say, why is everything in here sticky? That's what I wanna know. It's not a house, it's just like massive machinery. Oh. It's like they used to put the Oh, they're the trying fabric. to protect it, yeah. Well, that makes sense. I thought it was some kind of Dexter style death house. What's it called, the Brad Mill? Yeah. yeah. Oh the old conveyor belt hanging down the roof here. Would have been used initially to feed the lines. There's Scotty. Huh? So it's the old measuring to tell how much water they had in the tanks there. Well, they're okay. Well, one in the factories now. It, all it does, it smells like in here. Oh, this is where the fire happened. Oh, you yeah. see on the roof. Why did they close it? The Brad Mill? Yeah. Uh, From what I know, the Brad Mill shut down, well, about 2006, 2005. Um, it's been sold off to become a new estate. But it opened in the 20s, I think. I'll write down the proper information, I'll put it in the bio underneath. But, it operated for about 80, 90 years before it shut down. Like most things in the west now, it's gone. Just look at this place. It's absolutely massive. And it used to be so much bigger too before they pulled down a lot of the newer buildings on the property. Like it's missing part of its roof. There's Tyler up there. The cool thing about Brad Mill is it's actually got pretty decent graffiti in it. This place has become such a dump now. That's why we wanted to come here before it's too late and it's all gone. Look at that. It's pretty special looking. We've been talking about this for a long time. Doing this site. Seeing it. 
as you can see, you can see the bricks there. Where they're starting to actually, they're starting to seal this place up. So sooner or later, we won't be able to get in any of it. This is for. Oh, look at this place. My battery's starting to go low on this already. Oh, really? This is another one. This is car number two. It's one of the only last pieces left. This building hasn't actually been touched as much as the other ones. Like this building was stripped long before they moved out of here. Look at this. This just shows how big this factory is. I'm zoomed all the way down to the back wall there. It just keeps going and going and going. It seems to look like baths or something. There's like a few of them around here. It's like it's I have to find more information about exactly what all these buildings meant in the process of making denim, but I also gotta get my dates right, I think. I'm pretty sure I've got most of them wrong. Looks like offices along here. Looks like so much used to go on here. Oh my god. I'll show you what I found in a second. Red hot chili peppers have been here. Look at that. But I think we found probably the most impressive building. This one. Wow. Look at the size of this joint. You can see all the doors along that side have been sealed up. This is unbelievably big. Look at that. It's quite impressive, isn't it? Oops. I mean, look at the size of this joint. It's unbelievable. It goes both sides. This is probably the most impressive room of the lot. Pretty sure the red hot chili peppers have been. <laughs> what is a blur phrase? 